We drove two and a half hours from Kansas City and tracked down the home the IRS says Joe Campbell bought with COVID relief funds located just feet from the water on Lake of the Ozarks. It's a serene setting, calm enough to hear the rustling leaves, the waves as they crash onto the lake shore. Proceed to the route. About 200 miles southeast of Kansas City is where federal agents say Joe Campbell purchased a waterfront home with COVID-19 relief funds. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right. The I-team took a road trip to visit Campbell. We wanted to ask him about the accusations laid out in this affidavit that claims Campbell fraudulently obtained nearly $1 million in COVID relief funds. That one right down there. According to the documents, the five deposits hit Campbell's bank account by May 22nd, 2020. Four days later, Campbell sent a wire transfer to a title company for roughly $87,000 to purchase this home on Lake of the Ozarks. While the trip didn't lead us to Campbell, we spoke to neighbors who say he's rarely at the lake house, that it's Campbell's son who visits on the weekends. Records show Campbell also used some of the funds to buy two vehicles, both seized by the feds in May. It's not the first time Campbell's purchases have raised suspicions. In 2018, the I-Team revealed the City of Independence was on the losing end of a deal with Campbell involving the purchase of the historic Rockwood Golf Course, which the city turned into a solar farm. A certificate of value shows Campbell purchased the golf course for $550,000 in September 2017. Just two months later, the city bought the land from Campbell for nearly double the price. City leaders say Campbell threatened to put low-income housing on the property, something they didn't want. So the city paid the price, a $435,000 profit for Campbell. The lake house and vehicles only account for a small portion of the nearly million dollars Campbell received in relief funds. We're still trying to figure out what happened to the rest of it. For the I-Team, I'm Jessica McMaster, KSHB 41 News.